All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here, and I appreciate all the ladies that have been following us on the channel. So today, I have special guest Caroline Weil in town. Hey everyone. She's one week out from a show, and actually two weeks out from another show. She's got back-to-back -back shows coming up. She's in town training. What I wanted to do was, she competes in the figure class. So, in the NPC, we have multiple classes. We have a bikini class, which is kind of a nice little tone body, and then we have a figure class, which, here's what I think of when I think of figure. First of all, I love the figure class. Um, when I think of figure, I think of round shoulders, a nice tight waist, kind of that shape, that V taper, the beautiful shape, really tight abs, nice quad sweep, developed legs, not bird legs. Um, that's what I think of when I think of figure. Um, and I think Caroline, she's, she's new to the sport, but she's been working very, very hard. I think the, a lot of the look that she has represents exactly what I believe is the look of a champion. Uh, and then you have the women's physique class, which requires a little more conditioning, a little more lower body fat levels, a little bit more extreme. But Caroline's in the figure class. So what we wanted to do today is she's gonna take you through a little bit of posing. And I kind of just wanted you guys to see what a figure competitor looks like too that looks really good. I think Caroline has, is a great representation of the class. But so a little posing for the women out there. I'm gonna hook this on here. This is a cool little microphone. <laughs> so go ahead and take it away, Caroline. Tell everybody kind of what you're doing in each pose. Okay, thanks John, first off. And everyone, this is my fourth show that I'll be doing next weekend. And as I've gone through it, the training and the diet are super important, don't get me wrong. But that last 20% is all about posing. Because if you think about when you are dieted down and you've done all the hard work and you have the physique, if you don't demonstrate it on stage, odds are the judges, they might see you look good, but if you don't look your best, then you might not get the placing that you rightfully deserve based on your physique. So I think posing is one of those icings on the cake that every competitor needs to practice and start to learn. And your body, as it cuts down, as it changes, your posing will modify as well. So I'm gonna go through what the mandatory um, poses are as well as my presentation. So everyone will start off in a front pose, heels together, toes apart, you're gonna show your quad sweep. And as you go up, I've got my shoulders out wide, my lats are wide, and you can see that I have basically an hourglass shape from the top to the bottom. Now the judges are gonna be below me, so when I'm posing, I need to remember that the more upright I am, the longer my figure is going to look, and it's going to help my muscle shape. So I have a really muscular quad sweep, and one area that I'm really proud of is my waist, which is something you can't necessarily train to have a tiny waist, but you can practice in the off season vacuuming, doing ab workouts, etc. but keeping your core tight throughout the entire season. So then you transition into a quarter turn. Your feet are together, you're facing forward, and you're basically taking this front pose and you're rotating it to show off that figure shape once again. So your shoulders are gonna be level. I wanna show everybody this. Look at, the, look at the beautiful paper she's got going from having round delts. This is why it's so important for women to pound their delts. She's got beautiful shoulders, creates a great taper. That's just a great pose for Carolina. I really love to see that pose. So as I'm standing here, I'm actually starting to cramp up in my one lat, but you don't wanna hide your glute. So make sure your hand, you're basically gonna try and cup your butt. And that's how I think about your hand placement. So you want to be relaxed, but also you're going to be upright, showing off that flow and that physique once more. So then you're going to rotate to the back pose, which I think is one of the most important in figure. Heels together, toes apart. I set my legs first to get my hamstrings and adductors engaged, my glutes engaged. And once again, as you go up, open up my lats. My shoulders are wide rounded and it's essentially the same thing as a front pose but i'm like i said squeezing my posterior chain a little bit more you want to keep your butt up your chest up and as a reminder the judges are below you some women competitors i've seen they arc their back a little bit too much and it actually makes them look a little bit stubby in their waist so you want to make sure you have uprightness but not too much 
and bending far backwards. This is something I want you to touch on. So I think a lot of women, they lean forward too far, right? Mm -hmm. So when you do that, what happens to your lats and your back? They, they look small. They look small, right? Here's another question. Women ask me, should you flex your glutes in that position or should you relax them? What do you think? I think it depends on your physique and how much muscle mass you have, but also how lean you are. Because at the beginning of my prep, I was not flexing them. But as I've gone through the prep and started to lean out more and more, I've realized that if I engage them, it's gonna give me more muscle separation, which is what the judges are looking for in my division. So then I'm gonna rotate into the last mandatory, which is also a side profile. So similar to the first side, toes are together, heels are together, and you're gonna rotate once more to show that figure and that shape from top to bottom. And don't forget to smile. I think that's one thing a lot of people forget is that you should be having fun, even through the pain sometimes. And we just trained legs, which is still smart. <laughs> and you can also tell my obliques from this view. You can see the taper from the lat all the way down, as well as the sweep in my hamstring and glute. All right, I gotta do this just for the camera. Face the back. Her lower back is really lean. I, for, my bodybuilder mind has to see this. <laughs> I want you to take your fingers and press down. I want to see her spinal hair. What do you want me to do? So like, I want you to lean forward a little. Oh. Right here. And I want you to take your fingers and press down really hard. Stand straight. Ah, there it is. I wanted to see that Christmas tree. I want you to do this. We're going to turn into a bodybuilder for, oh, one, gosh. for just one minute. <laughs> so this, now I want you to pull your elbows back like that. Now reach forward and pull back. Oh, that's awesome. That's pretty wicked. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> oh my awesome. gosh. <laughs> I do that. The I'm unexpected. Sorry. It's Anytime fine. Anytime I see a back that looks like that, I got to see the body. <laughs> All right. We appreciate you watching. Carolyn, where can people follow you at? I'm on Instagram at Strong Sweet Caroline. I actually have a YouTube that I'm trying to bring up as well under Strong Sweet Caroline, but I'm actually helping a lot of women with posing. So if you have posing questions or want to do, have me as a posing coach, just reach out. And best of luck to new competitors as well as senior competitors. All right, thanks everybody. If you like that video, I know you're gonna love my app available on the Google Play Store for Android, iPhones in the Apple Store. There's so much information on here, it's amazing. Training, workouts, hundreds of workouts, nutrition methodology questions, chemical enhancement, supplementation, client prep, and a Q&A button. Check it out.